riding adventures teaching beginners how to ride. But today is a very special day because I'm here at the Ontario Camp of the Deaf teaching these guys how to off-road ride. Established in 1960, the Ontario Camp of the Deaf, or OCD, was started by Pastor Bob Rumble. He envisioned a facility where a deaf child could enjoy everything that a summer camp could offer, but in an environment without any communication barriers. Today, over 200 guests enjoy the OCD as a place of opportunity for deaf, hard of hearing, and multiple handicapped young people. This camp is also home to Lino Zeka's Moto Camp, where kids of all ages come to learn how to ride motocross bikes. Witnessing the fun the Moto Camp kids are having, Derek Rumble, director of the OCD, thought it would be a good idea if his OCD campers could also try riding bikes. Completing the idea, ride instructor Clinton Smout was brought in, and along with his crew, they visit the camp throughout the summer to teach these very special kids how to ride. I think it's a great exposure to those who are less fortunate than you and I that can hear and talk and walk and do everything so-called normal. I'd rather teach a deaf kid how to ride uh, versus a hearing child how to ride. They appreciate it much more than anybody else would. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a good experience. You get to learn sign language. You get to learn with different disabilities all the time. So it's, it's awesome. It's something some of them don't experience every day. And to see them have fun doing it some new for them and I enjoy teaching it. We have our separate dormitory for the Moto Lodge but at meal times, swimming times, tuck times, that little candy store you saw, the hearing kids that are on dirt bikes for the week integrate with the larger group of deaf and otherwise handicapped kids and it's neat because we're only 35-40 people that can hear. We're the weirdos because we can't sign very well. So it's a juxtaposition to normal society where the deaf child has been ridiculed sometimes at the mall because they may talk a little funny or they hear a little funny. Whereas here, it's the back, it's back to verse where my two sons feel a little out of place because they'll say, Dad, what did that lady sign to me? And, and sometimes I can grasp it. It's like French. If they talk really slow, I can get it. But uh, the cook is deaf. The people that work in the laundry are deaf. Everybody's deaf, so it's their world. So it's quite the privilege for our kids to come up here and integrate with them. And I hope they leave with a better appreciation of how good they have it. They have a dirt bike, for one thing. They can hear and walk and talk. Everything's normal, so to speak. And I think most of the kids pick that up. Camp counselors are quite involved and get to help out a lot with the kids. The Ontario Camp of the Deaf is honestly the best place I've ever been. There's no place I'd rather be and spend each summer. It is one of a kind facility for deaf and even hearing kids as well. And it's just, it's tons of fun. You make loads of friends each year and they become like your family. It's really quite cool. A lot of the kids that are coming up from modal camp don't realize that um, they're coming up into experience deaf culture that they would have never experienced anywhere else. And um, to see them intermingle and stuff, it's really exciting because they get to meet new kids and meet kids that have the disabilities that they would never have seen anywhere else. And, it, and I think it really opens their eyes and see a different world almost. And, and a lot of the kids um, that come up from Moto Camp, they get to learn sign language too, just through meal times and stuff because we do eat together. Having the opportunity to ride like the dirt bikes and the ATVs is just, some kids have never even seen them, let alone had the chance to ride them. And it's, it's quite... A cool experience is all they talk about. They they wait all week to for the ATVs and the dirt bikes, and then they talk about it the rest of the week. And it's it's quite cool. And it's cool because the deaf kids they can do it. They're not um, like handicapped because they can't hear. It's something they can do just like a hearing child could. So it's pretty cool. It's nice to teach the kids a, a new skill and learn, watch to see them practice and improve what they're what they're learning up here. Oh, he's ridden a snowmobile, but until he came up to camp, he's never ridden an ATV or a dirt bike. More fun than bicycling or different things that move. With some great assistance, counselor Vera Patterson helps us find out what the kids think of riding. Excited. What I did, I went really fast and it was very bumpy. And I was stopping and stopping. It was funny. <laughs> he... He went the wrong way at first, and he fell off the ATV, and they had to clean it up, and he had to wait, and he went around three or four times, good, good, he went faster, 
and he's good at it now. Oh, I really enjoyed it. I went really fast all around the track. <laughs> it was so fun. I fell last time. I was afraid. I was afraid to go on it, but I did this time. Before, he's been on the two-wheeler, but this is his first time on the four-wheeler. Which one do you like better, the two-wheeler or the four-wheeler? Four wheels. Okay. <laughs> it's better over the bumps. <laughs> She likes feeling safe on the motorcycle. It was another awesome day here at the Ontario Camp of the Deaf. All my friends and I had an awesome time riding. I'm Michelle Sullivan for Go Riding TV.